there. Alex Kidman from Alex Reviews Tech with just a simple quick tip here, just for something I actually had to look up myself because I knew it could be done, couldn't remember how to do it. So I went and looked it up and I thought, well, if I've got to look this up, there'll be other people who need to know. So let's say you've got a list of something, anything. I've got a sample thing here in front of me where I've got a count of frogs, but I've suddenly realized, darn, this is a green tree frog count. And I forgot to put the words green tree in front of frog in every instance here. Now, I could go through and, you know, manually type in, hey, green tree like that over and over and over again, but I don't really want to do that. That's boring and it takes a whole bunch of time. There's a much, much simpler way to do this though. What you want to do is create a quick formula here. So we type, if we type equal concat, which will concatenate, and then an open bracket, and then the words we want in quotes. So in this case, it's green tree with a space, and then a close quote, a comma, and then select the first cell that we want it to appear in, which is this one. And then close that bracket, hit enter, and we've got the word green tree frog. And you might think, well, that's great, but it's in the wrong spot, Alex. You've stuffed up, this is wrong. Well, no, there's a pretty easy way to solve this. What I'm gonna do first of all, though, is I'm just gonna slide down here to expand this out so I've got a full list of green tree frog for every instance of frog there copy that text, then go back over to my list, select it all, and then go edit and paste special. And I just want to paste the values here. And hey, presto, I have green tree frog in there. And I can now delete my formula and my table all good. This will also work in Excel. It's just a common formula. A lot of people probably knew this, but I had to look it up and I thought this might be handy for some. Thanks for watching.